Well, you said it. And this is already a hard enough place to shoot, right? It is one of the more difficult places to shoot. People don't realize that because the wall's so far back. And you've got not much of a real shooter's background. No, you don't. I mean, tough place to shoot. So, And that affects teams, right, if they're not able to knock down jump shots. Look at that. Hackbush. Quickly in transition. Another three-pointer from the wing. They battle for it, but Damani will come up with it. Drew Dotson, by the way, with the rebound. Basabas in the lane. Has he even had a good look? No. What a block from behind. That was Levin Boyd who got that. And the back and the follow by Welch. And the back door gets the assist. The ball came up back right in the shooting pocket. So both teams going to the bench early. We're still in the first quarter. It's good to see Matt Welch get that first one to go. On the dribble drive, Dodson will be fouled. We've got a timeout coming, and we will take it. We will pause. We're at Reno High School. The Huskies on top. They lead by 11. We'll see what happens. Stay with us here on High School Hoops. Locally owned and operated for over 20 years, we do everything plumbing. And as the premier vendor for Renai, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your expert in tankless water heating technology with endless hot water on demand. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air to upgrade your system today. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting A it... A pretzel bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new Pretzel Baconator. A lot of attorneys talk about all their experience, but experience with poor results means nothing. At Learner Row, we've recovered billions of dollars for over 150,000 clients, and that's the results you need. Call 644 Locally owned and operated for over 20 years, we do everything plumbing. And as the premier vendor for Renai, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your expert in tankless water heating technology with endless hot water on demand. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air to upgrade your system today. Our game is brought to you by Westside Dental Studio, located at the heart of Big Town. Now accepting new patients at their state-of-the-art dental office. And by Northwest Reno Chiropractic, helping local athletes stay in top form since 1995. Damani inbounds up top to Bong, and Macias comes out. There's Basabas with a good look. Boy, the Reno's got people inside, and they clear it easily. Caleb Oster, who just came in the ball game, and down at the other end, Anderson will pick up his first foul. I mean, that's huge right there. You look, Reno's looking to move, break on the miss or make, and that's a great move by Boyd there to get the big fella off his feet and go right into him. Boyd, a good free throw shooter, 77%. He's made 40 of 52 this year. It's amazing. Everyone Matt Oaks has put into this basketball game has came in and contributed right away. Is it, that's a great point. They, it, normally you go to the bench, you figure it's going to be a little bit of a let-up. No, it has not been. At all. And the intensity level it hasn't gone down at all either. I mean, good for him. Anderson will get the rebound, but I think it was a lane violation. And that's what, what Matt Oaks said that the... One of the things that's going to motivate his team, obviously winning the game and getting a chance to the regional championship, but going undefeated at home, that's the underlying theme in tonight's ballgame. And now they're in that 2-3 zone. See how he's mixing it up so you, you're keeping these guys off balance because they don't know what defense you're in. That's why they've got the three guards. Immediately they double-team Anderson everywhere. Yeah, I think they're going to trap in the corners in this 2-3 zone, which is smart. Macias out front, Basabas high up top. Macias, good head fake, but look at the Smearton came after him and didn't quite get there. He, he, this young man can do it, right? We talked about him being able to finish at the rim and also shoot the three. That's why I love him. He's got all five of their points, yes. even. And, and that's not surprising because he can do it. Hudson. Oh, that's a grab there. Yeah, a back door to Smearton who gets grabbed and jostled a couple times. He points at his jersey like I've been held on to. 
Yeah, he said get in the weight room because you can see the young man got so much. You see here, nice backdoor cut. And Reno, as we talked about in the pregame, does a really good job of taking advantage of the defense and being over aggressive by getting those backdoor cuts. Bodie Lyman has just come in the game for the Huskies. And I guarantee you he contributes right away. He, he is a, He's a shooter. Nice. Another great, pump fake. Yep. Great head fake by Higgins. You don't think they got the scouting report? Give yeah. them a pump fake. Get them off their feet and then attack. Again, they lead by 11. And see, I, I, now they're back in the man-to-man -man, uh, defense. Yeah, they went, came down to four one time, as you said, in the zone. Anderson muscling inside. And, boy, they send a lot. Reno sends a lot of guys to the board each time. Anderson will clear it. A lot of contact in the lane. Bong to Anderson. Boy, he's got a nice soft touch. Yeah, he does. That's a great pass, too, right there, too, Dan, by uh, Kim Young. They needed that. An they easy basket. Yeah, they really did. They got it now in single digits, but they're still down by nine here in the first quarter. They're having to work so hard, though, just to get a shot. They are. Much harder than Reno. Reno re reversing the ball very well. Mac Edwards, the boy in the corner, hits a couple times, and here comes Damani. Oh my gosh, flying over the top, and Vaughn will be fouled. But did you see Bodie Lyman? Watch them come over the top. Look at Bodie. Oh, wow. I'm looking for him in the Olympics in, in Paris. I don't care what sport, but he needs to be over there. Yeah, he does. You talk about the long jump. If you're the Huskies on offense, you got to let Higgins touch that ball. Yep. Again, they try to get it. Yeah, exactly. Try to get it inside, and it's knocked away from Dodson. Higgins and Smearden would be the ones who should get touches on the offensive end, and if they don't have a shot, set up teammates. But they got to get the get the touch. Dodson from the corner. Boy, again, the Huskies, they give you one opportunity. They come down with it, and again, in transition quickly. Nice rebound by Boyd. Lyman can't go anywhere. He and Boyd playing a little two-man game. There you go. Huskies move the ball really well and penetrate. Oh, a a nice, nice euro, huh? Yeah, a little step through right there, big time. Another young man coming in off the bench, contributing right away when we talk about board. Well, the Huskies have 14 guys on their bench, and we may see them all tonight. Yeah, see, Jay Sanders, he, he's not going to be able to muscle uh, Mac Edwards down there on the block, so he got to take him out on the perimeter. The a little back and forth. And a good Husky defense. Like, look at Anderson. Double teamed all the time. He'll end up at the free throw line or really not. No, oh, they're going to get him with a travel there. Exactly. But it was physical underneath. Take another look at it, Ethan. See, this, look how physical it is. Yeah, it is. and that's the correct call because you saw him shuffle those feet on the replay. Lyman will hand it to Smearden. Five seconds left to get a shot off. Smearden will back up, throws it up, and too far. So, we're in one quarter. Huskies on top, 18-7, to seven, comfortably ahead. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with the second quarter here at Reno High School on High School Hoops. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. See Champions number one commercial fleet department for all your business needs. In stock now at 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 regular cab service truck. A 2023 Chevy Silverado 5500 crew cab chassis 4x4. And a 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 crew cab four-wheel drive work truck. Now at Champion. 
Welcome back to High School Hoops. Our game brought to you in part by Big O, by, excuse me, by Porter Subs, a battle-born company that started right here in northern Nevada, and by Big O Tires. They proudly sell their own brand of innovative new design tires backed by their Protect 3-year warranty. Right now, save $100 instantly on the in-stock sets of Big O Tires. Visit your store locally for all the details. I could use both right now. Porter Subs sandwich and some Big O Tires. Exactly. Reno will inbound to start the second quarter, leading by 11. Higgins in the paint. Wow. Higgins has come ready to play tonight. No fear. He already has a half dozen. Oh, Mac Brown got his hand. Look at the hustle. But that, that's Brown. He's on the floor hustling more than he's standing upright, I think, at times. But he will be the last to touch it. Dodson will keep the ball. As what? you see here, 22 back Edwards. Look. So you can see him slap it last. He's the last to touch it. So the ball is tied up. Who's the arrow favor? It favors Damani. They'll keep it at their end. It is so tough to spin in traffic. And also in the key because it's so it's so congested in there. Because yeah, you usually end up grabbing an arm. Yeah, and as soon as you spin, you lose sight of the, the help side defender. Reno's defense has done a great job neutralizing all aspects of Damani's game so Look far. Now Higgins will come up with a loose ball. Hack pushes back in. He's in the forecourt. Great hands, Basabas, or Basabas almost knocked that one loose. And he's picked off with a Mac Evans screen. Boy, Basabas went down hard. That was, I mean, how else are you supposed to go down when you get hit by a screen well, like that? What was the name of that van that hit him? Get that license number, boy, because Evans really laid a one. Watch Evans. Look at that. Or Edwards, rather, not Evans. Yeah, Mac Edwards, but he hit it more like a Mac truck. Basabas behind the back. What the defense are clinging to him. I'm impressed with the defense here. Yeah, Boyd doing a great job against Basabas. is not the easiest guy to guard. Dodson on a hesitation move, and he'll end up at the line again. So his second trip to the line. Numbers in the first quarter, Damani Ranch 37.5% shooting, Reno 53%. From the three-point line, three line and beyond, Damani 18%, Reno 14%. Interesting. Now, Drew Dodson can give him points uh, off the bench. Now, this young man can shoot the basketball. And as you can see, every time he touches it, he's offensive minded. Not to mention, he's a terrific free, uh, free throw shooter. Back to within 11. Huskies' largest leader tonight has been 13. Warbrot, who started in the middles back in the game. In fact, the only non-starter on the floor right now with the Huskies is Logan Floyd. Wow. Floyd. And Boyd knocks down another three. I mean, he's shooting it, and that one's from the sideline almost. But they're shooting with so much confidence right now. Great baseline pass. Dodson up front, he gets run into. Unfortunately, caught the pass and turn, and there was nowhere for Boyd to go but run into him. You see here on the replay, Dan, nice trap there in the corner. And just a half a second away. Otherwise, that would have been an easy two points at the other end. Yeah, pushed it down, and he'd had everybody beaten by three or four steps. Anderson has to come way out to help out. Macias, look, he's out the timeline. Now that's how far that defense is pushing. I mean, they're making every pass tough. Reno man to man is really sticky. Dodson. Again, Higgins will pull it down. In transition. You're not going to beat Reno in this gym by shooting a lot of jump shots. I don't didn't. think so. But again, for Damani Ranch, well, that's just anticipating the pass underneath and thrown away by Lyman. We've got a timeout. We're in the second quarter. We'll take it. Huskies comfortably on top. They have been all night long. We'll be right back with more high school hoops. 
for over 50 years, Capital Glass has earned the reputation as Northern Nevada's highest quality glass services provider. Whether for business or residential needs, call today or visit CapitalGlassOnline.com. At Dolan Auto Group, we want to make sure you and your loved ones get home safe. Here's the Washoe County Sheriff's Office with some tips to help you do just that. Do your part to help keep children in our community safe. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Check crosswalks to ensure pedestrians aren't present and proceed slowly through all school zones. Stop for any crossing sign guards using hand signals or holding a sign. There is never a valid excuse for speeding in a school zone. From Dolan Auto Group, drive safe, Nevada. Capital Glass is excited to sponsor Northern Nevada high schools to make sure they get the equipment they need for the season this year to play good and look good on the field. Please go online to Nevada Sportsnet to apply for the Capital Glass Athletic Grant today. The Row, three resorts, one of a kind experience. Caesars Entertainment presents The Row, located in the heart of downtown Reno. And of course, Bradley, Grindle, and Janae are proud to support high school sports and a proud sponsor of our high school show. Hey, surprise second quarter, Spanish Springs 30, Bishop and Oak 14. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Pasabas. Oh, that was really nice. Nice split of the trap for a nice dump off. And Anderson needs that he uh, put back. And you notice nobody challenged Anderson when he went up. He controlled that space. Demonte ran a whole lot of that. Pack push. Hagbush has yet to attempt the shot. That's Lyman. Boy, Cisco really got up over the defense that time. And hustles nice. down the floor. Look at Anderson reach over the top to get that. And then he's tied up. With, see, the big guys can't put the ball on the floor, as you know. You put the ball on the floor, one of the smaller guys will make you pay for it. Absolutely. Every single time. And Matt Oaks is very happy, as you see, with that effort. I mean, on the floor, fighting for that ball. Anderson holds the ball over his head, and nobody can challenge him. Full court pressure by Damani Ranch. Smearden. Surprised he didn't bring it up. He gave it up because he handles the ball so well. You notice they didn't panic during that press right there, Dan. Not at all. Nice play. Yeah, it, I'm surprised that Reno's getting so many wide open shots. Yeah, Dotson. Nice run out there. Great pass by Marcias. Dotson did a great job of running out there. They need more of those. Hackbush again looking for some help. There's Smearden. You just get a feeling that it's just a matter of time before the money wrench goes on a run of some sort. They have not been here. That's a good point, Aiden, because they have not been able to go on a run. But how about that give and go inside the Warbot? Yeah, Warbot, that's a great job of diving to the hoop and finish. Offensive foul on the charge. Yeah, let's see here on the replay. Warbot goes to the field, don't get it. Well, you can see, boy, Higgins did a great job. He set himself very, very early. Second personal on Anderson. That could be some concern. Yeah, and Higgins smart play because he knew he couldn't contest and go up and block it. So the best thing to do is take a charge, and he did a good job to get both feet established. I was surprised that Anderson didn't pull up because Higgins was stationary for a long time. Well, I think the defense got the monitor and sped up a little bit. Right, and when you're sped up, that's the last thing you're thinking about. Pull up, hack Bush from way downtown. Notice how quickly he released that ball. Yeah, Higgins again, he has been everywhere. Everywhere, Warbrot running the floor. Great pass, hack Bush again. Look at Warbrot. Look at Warbrot. He's, I said earlier, he's their emotional guy. Wow, Smith. Wow. Wow, better get a T.O., baby! Better get a T.O. We've got a timeout. Reno blowing it open. They're on top 31-13. We'll be back with more high school hoops. Child hunger is real. Many northern Nevada children go an entire day or even a weekend with nothing to eat. 
With your help, we can make a difference. For just $5, you can help a hungry child eat on the weekend. Join Dollar Loan Center in News 4 at Smith's on South Meadows Parkway, February 9th, or donate to the Super Bowl of Caring at MyNews4.com. Help make a difference today. Donate to the Super Bowl of Caring. Child hunger is real. Every day, far too many children go hungry. Many children in Northern Nevada are hungry. Some going a full day or even a whole weekend with nothing to eat. For many, their only meal is a free school breakfast or lunch. But with your help, we can make a difference. Please join us February 9th at the Smiths on South Meadows Parkway for our Super Bowl of Caring food drive. Or you can donate today at MyNews4.com. Our game brought to you by a champion for high school sports. Your Northern Nevada number one Chevy dealer, champion Chevrolet. They support local athletes. And America First Credit Union. They're proud to support high school athletics and promote quality education throughout the state. Visit AmericaFirst.com. Well, an 18-point lead, Damani Ranch. A little, I think a little rattled. Remember what Mike Tyson said? Plans go awry when you get the first punch. Yep. Or something right. to that, similar to that. Well, Basavas with a runner, Anderson will get the, I guess he wasn't a rebound, it's more of a pass than anything, then gets fouled. Chase Anderson has shot more free throws for this team than anybody. 94 attempts. He's made 72. He's a 77% free throw shooter. Young man, as we talked about in the pregame show, when they had a, a two-mile race with the air guard and his team, guess who won it? He won it going away. He that's, is the guy who gets out and runs. That's impressive. I mentioned that Spanish Springs Minot score. That's quite a surprise. Big time. They were Spanish Springs was ahead by si by 16 at the time. The Monty Reds got to get some turnover. And Reno has taken better care of the ball than they normally do. The Monty Ranch has been the team that doesn't turn it over, and tonight it's so far it's the Huskies. Oh, nice in the paint tiptoe. Anderson will clear in heavy traffic. Look at him get that floor, ball down the floor to Vaughn. Anderson. Well, this is not the Matrix, but it's good to see Mr. Anderson finally show up in this basketball game. Cut it to 14 if that's you can cut it. Edwards inside. Hesitated going up and lost the opportunity. This is a turnover that we're talking about. Yeah, Vaughn with a steal. Cisco with the offensive board. Basabas, I thought that was going to be a charge. Anderson. I know the Monty Ranch would have played fast, but they're getting sped way up. Yeah, they're, they're uber fast right now. Hack push. A little give and go, and then, and then give Bond with a second steal. And, and Reno's starting to play a little bit too fast. Basabas. They keep it. Again, Basabas with the drive, and boy, challenging for that rebound. Knocked out of bounds off the hands. I think Hackbush last to touch it. Let's see here on the replay. It's a nice move. They just can't get it to go. Didn't get enough spin on it. Well, Higgins is back in. They need his board work back in for Reno. And they need his scoring. Anderson. Well, he got one look, and then Casey with a rebound. There's Higgins. Smearden. Yeah, it, it, Coach Oaks probably would, would like that possession back. Too quick of a shot. Boy, they get quickly down the floor, and there's a grab and a hold. I thought it was going to be a charge with 62 seconds left. Yeah, there's, there's the grab. They get down fast, but they got to have more changes pace. Once you push it down that to the free throw line, back it up, and then look to go again. I think you're right about that. And I also think what they need is better spacing. Yeah, spacing is crucial because they don't have it right now. And Reno finds it easy 
to play half court defense because they got guys on each elbow and on the block. So it's cutting off those those penetration lanes. Anderson looks. And now that ball will be tied up on the rebound, but Aiden Casey trying to work the defensive window. Again, the tie up the arrow will favor Damani. They've had both times we've had a tie ball. Vaughn. Macias. Look at all those white shirts around. That's a little too much to ask. Anderson gets his own board. And boy, the, the bodies are really starting to fly. Anderson was extremely physical that trip down the floor. And, and he's got to score those, right? And, and, and he's got two fouls. I was surprised. I thought that he was going to pick up his third. So was I. I like that the officials are letting him play. Well, the pressure that Damani is putting on is cracking the seams for Reno a little bit. Luckily for Reno, there's only 14 seconds left before they get in the locker room and talk things over. Macias. Under 10 now as you see the countdown in the right corner of your screen. You say a travel, so Reno will have it back. I don't know if they're going to reset the clock. I thought it was a little more than four seconds. Currently shows 3.4. I think our score at the right bottom of the screen is more accurate, but we'll go by the official clock with just over three seconds. Yeah, Brent Celine is in the game with freshman. Terrific freshman, by the way. Smearden. Oh, my. Oh, my. That looked awfully good for an awful long time. Well, a 14-point lead at halftime. It's been worse. The Huskies have led by more, but they have controlled it since the opening tip. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with our halftime show here on High School Hoops. For over 50 years, Capital Glass has earned the reputation as Northern Nevada's highest quality glass services provider. Whether for business or residential needs, call today or visit CapitalGlassOnline.com. Guess what we're doing to the Baconator? We're putting a it- A pretzel bun? On the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Nobody likes going to the dentist, nobody. So I really wanted to create a space where patients felt comfortable to receive their care. And so we provide warm neck pillows, weighted blankets, TVs above the patient chair, and just an area where you feel comfortable and relaxed. As a local Reno practice, we strive to build sincere relationships with our patients. If you're looking for a compassionate dental home, please come visit us. We can't wait to meet you. Capital Glass is excited to sponsor Northern Nevada high schools to make sure they get the equipment they need for the season this year to play good and look good on the field. Please go online to Nevada Sportsnet to apply for the Capital Glass Athletic Grant today. Hi, I'm Joe Bradley of Bradley Drenlin Janae, and we're proud to support Friday Night Rivals right here on Nevada Sportsnet. You're watching Nevada Sportsnet. Each month, we choose a student athlete as our Revilio Way to Go Award winner. Hi. I'm Dan Gustin, and I've had the privilege for more than 15 years to introduce some of Northern Nevada's finest student athletes as winners of this award. There are just three qualifications to be nominated, earn a varsity letter, maintain academic excellence, and contribute to the betterment of our community. The winners and their families are recognized at an awards luncheon hosted by the Revilio family, and each winner receives a $500 scholarship from Bradford White. 
an American company that makes water heaters right here in the United States. Thank you to both the Revilio family and Bradford White. And now, let's meet one of our winners. Our Revilio Way to Go Award winner this month is from Lowry High School, Savannah Stoker. Well, you've got a 3.8 GPA. I look at your classes, pre-calc, econ, history, but you like science above everything. Why? because it opens many avenues in the medical field, and I would love to attend kinesiology in college, and that is the study of movement, and I would be taking physiology, chemistry, and anatomy classes. You're a three-sport athlete, and you are just outstanding in basketball, volleyball, and softball, and you've been all state in all three, which is kind of unheard of. Last year, you won the state championship in basketball. You know, that's gotta be very important to you and the community to be state champs. Yeah, it was a dream come true to win back-to-back -back state champions, and it was a historical event that happened within our school because throughout the years of all the state titles we have won, we the past two years we were the first two teams to win two titles in a row. Great thing about it, Savannah, was you beat a team who had beaten you three times during the season. You had 31 of the 58 points for your team. Wow, I, I just can't imagine coming back and winning and beating a team that beaten you that many times. Yeah, Fernley is an amazing team. They're coached by an amazing coach, and they gave us a competitive battle every game. So we knew we had to change up some things during practice, and when we went into that game, we knew we had to have discipline, awareness, and a winning mentality. It was an honor to be with a group of girls that wanted to practice and grow every day and yep. want to win. Being a team is really important. Yes. Talking about sports, in softball last year, you set the single season record for home runs with 21. You need only six more to break the all-time record. Softball, what do you feel about playing that sport and how do you like that? Um, I love it just as much as basketball I always have. I, it was a huge goal I accomplished and um, it was a 32 year long record and I am very honored to be a part of the record book. I said you were a three sport athlete, but you really are a four sport athlete. You were homecoming queen this year in football. You know, talk about honors. That's a pretty high honor. Yeah, I was very, I was very honored. Um, I was honored to have the support from the student body of Lowry and I walked with two of my best friends. Yeah, great memory. You know, you do a lot in the community. You're vice president of the Honor Society and the Honor Society does things in the community. What events do you really like and what are your favorites? Um, soup kitchens are fun, uh, the Chucker Foundation, um, helping catering uh, events is always fun. Yeah, I bet. Yes. You know, I know you do other things during the summer. You, you like to fish and you like to wakeboard. So I'm, I'm thinking probably the fishing, Knot Creek and Onion uh, Valley are probably two of your favorite fishing holes. Where do you wakeboard? I wakeboard at Rye Patch in Lake Lahontan. My best friend and her family has a boat. So we go on as many boating trips we can during summer. Yeah, that's always yes. fun. Do you know what you're going to do after high school? Um, I want to continue my student athlete career. Um, I've been talking to a couple of schools with sports. Um, I've talked, I've had a visit up in Idaho and I'm very interested in their school and I'd love to attend my academics in kinesiology and sports. I was figuring kinesiology yeah. fit in there somewhere. Yes. Well, now you know a lot more about Savannah Stoker and you understand why she's a Revilio Way to Go Award winner. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, oh, no. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is, holy 
words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Welcome back to High School Hoops and our halftime show is brought to you by Bradley Grindle and Janae. They're proud to support high school sports and a proud sponsor of our halftime show. Well, what a surprise, a 14 point spread at halftime. I looked at the numbers that Michael Reeves, our statistician, gave us, Ethan, and Reno shooting 69% from the field. They've only been to the free throw line twice. They're one of two there. On the other side of it, Brian Boyles has prided his team in not turning the ball over. They turned it over in the first half ten times. Reno turned it over six. That's a win for Reno. But here's what's also interesting. Rebounding. You think Anderson got his share of rebounds, and they would dominate solely by the fact that he's on the floor. But Reno has outboarded them 15 to 14. Wow. And, and, and most of that has come from effort, right, from, from Reno. Uh, with their rebound, as you see, with 15, 14, nine more. But the field goal percentage is what got me, Dan. 26%. We know this is a tough place to play, but you're not going to beat anyone shooting 26% from the field. And when you turn it over as many times as they did, because they rely on surprise getting down the floor before you do and taking advantage of the basket. Well, let's take a look at our highlight reel put together by our crew in the truck of the first half. Let's see. There's Higgins, and he was a big factor in that first half. He was. I mean, just inside out, and we see a nice floater right there, Dan, from uh, Casey. number three, 83, Aiden Casey there. And then the block by Casey, that was phenomenal block at the other end. A great block. Smearden outside. He leads his team with eight points. I mean, perfect rotation, got squared up nicely. And there's Zariah Macias there with the nice drive to the basket. He scored their first five points. Exactly. And the double clutch by Smearden, look at that. And he looked down at his arm saying, I got ice in my veins. And once again, Casey with a nice floater there, Dan, nice soft touch. And, and look at the block there. The, Reno contested almost every shot the money ran took in that first half. Yeah, that was Boyd who got the block. And then in the paint, on the second effort, Welch. Matt Welch came in off the bench and scored right away. And there's Macias again with a nice pump fake and three-pointer. The only the Messiah shot only one time that they've had a great look and look at Higgins with a head fake and gets the easy basket underneath. So highlights of the first half. Anderson using his size and his strength inside. Well, we're at halftime. It's a 14 point game. The Huskies on top 31 to 17 trying to take revenge for the loss when they were Devonnie Ranch. They lost by three. They're currently the second team in the league fighting for that number one position. They won't get it tonight, but they're going to make it tough. Well, stick around. We've got more coming to our halftime show. We'll take a time out. We'll come back with more High School Hoops. tip is sponsored by Big O Tires. For helpful auto tips, stop into your local Big O Tires today. Well, there's no denying, it is cold out, and that's why it's important to have your car filled with fluids that match the weather conditions. Now, we've talked a lot about oil here on Auto Matters, and in the winter, it's even more important to keep up on it. My dad grew up changing between heavy oil in the summer and thinner oil in the winter. You've probably heard that, right? 
Well, these days we have multi-viscosity oil. That W in 10W30 actually stands for winter. And that oil works like a 10 in the cold, but 30 when it warms up. Don't be fooled though into thinking that you don't have to change your oil as often. Still follow your manufacturer's recommendations for the type of driving you do, because the more miles you have on your oil, the less protection it offers your engine. Are you hand choosing the right oil for your car? It's easy. Just check in with our trusted car care pros here in town. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Campani Auto Group, and we want to do what we can to make sure you never get the phone call you would never expect. A family member has been injured in a serious vehicle accident due to distracted driving. 58% of distracted driving accidents are caused by texting while driving, changing the radio station, or eating food. Pull over if you have to use your phone. Drive safe, Nevada. Here at Campani Auto Group, our highest priority is keeping you safe, and we want to make sure that all your attention is on the road. Welcome back to High School Hoops. An update for you at halftime. Spanish Springs leading Bishop and Oak 32 to 22. You know, if it comes down to a free throw shooting game, Damani Ranch has the advantage. They shoot 11 points better statistically than Reno does, but they haven't had their best, second best free throw shooter in the game. He's only a sophomore. We'll see him a lot more next year at guard. Zach Stanko is 83% from the line. So if you see Zach in the second half, it's free throw time for him. He's 10 of 12 on the year, not many times, but he's the guy you want to go to the line in the second half. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with the start of the third quarter when we return here for High School Hoops. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2023 Chevy Traverse 1LS all-wheel drive, 520 per month. A 2023 Chevy Blazer 2LT all-wheel drive, 528 per month. Or a 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 Custom Crew Cab 4x4, 52888. Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. I was really worried about my daughter. I couldn't do anything right. I was always getting yelled at. She was getting into trouble at school. I was afraid she was going to get kicked out. I felt like nobody liked me. We needed help. I needed help. I called Mobile Crisis Response, and a team came to our house that day. I didn't know how to tell my mom what was happening at school and how I was feeling. Sometimes, understanding what children are experiencing can be difficult. The Nevada Children's Mobile Crisis Response Team provides mental health intervention and support. Learn more at nocrisis.com. We are back with high school hoops, the second half here at Reno High School. The Huskies will inbound again against the Bonnie Ranch. Our officials tonight, Bruce Jacobson, Zach Richardson, and our head official is Rich Martinez. Martinez about to give the ball at midcourt so the Huskies can inbound. Smearden, who leads his team in scoring with eight. Warbra up top. Warbra working against Anderson. Against Smearden. Boy, wow. a magical shot off the window. Wow. Messias. Back to a 16 point lead. Dotson gets a start in the second half instead of Cisco. I can see that because he's more of an offensive threat, right? And they need points in this basketball game. You know, Dotson's been averaging better than eight points a ball game. Yeah, and you're finding yourself down uh, 16 points. You got to get some baskets. Cisco though averaging ten and a half, so he just hasn't delivered so far tonight when he's been in there. There's Basabas. Hackbush is smart in guarding him and by giving him some room. Yeah, why not? Well, there's Cisco in the game. You, you see, the, the space in there is not very good. There's nowhere to penetrate. I'll tell you who's not in there. Bong's not in there. They've got him out of the game. He had the, the two steals in the first half, but I think that. Coach Voyles needs a little more size. That's why he's got Dotson in the game. He needs a little more size, a little bit more offense right there. And Drew Dotson can give him that. Boy, they have kept Kasabas tied up all night, and Anderson fouled underneath. That's a nice dump off right there by uh, Shiro Kasabas to Anderson. And good job by Jace Anderson going up strong with that, with that basketball, man. I just talked about free throws. He's one of the key guys. He leads the team. In free throw percentage at 77. Excuse me. And free throws attempted at 94. Wow. That's interesting. He's right there, though. You just shake that one off and get this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's, he's thinking about it a little bit right now, visualizing that shot going in. There you go. Nice rotation on the shot. Again, full court pressure. It's nice when you can bring your 6'5 center down court to help you bring the ball across. Isn't that a luxury to have? And you trust him with the basketball in his hand. Higgins. Oh, that's Oh, wow. Going to get called for the offensive foul. I don't know about that. That's a whole lot of Hollywood. Let's see here if there's a little action going on. Oh, yeah, that's a whole lot of action going on. Yeah, the uh, Matt Oaks talking about that a little bit. He thought maybe that was a little bit of a flop. Uh, yeah. Uh, Could well have been. Yeah, good for Jace Anderson for selling it. Macias. Again, Smearton, he's got such quick hands. Basabas and there's inside Warbron again with battling and getting the ball. Yeah, that's a tough shot right there. You know, they're contesting everything he put up, and they got a lot of length, so it's really bothering them. Smeared, and there's Anderson for the first time really extending himself. And look at Anderson handling the ball. Exactly, at 6 7. Loose on the floor, the third tied ball tonight. And that's a result of Basavis trying to go too fast, Dan. I know. They like to go fast, and Coach Boyles wants him to go fast, but tonight it's just not working, Ethan. You've you said go, it a couple times. Yeah, you can go fast, but don't rush. And right now they're rushing. Big difference between rushing and going fast. You're right. So we're going to take a timeout here for under six minutes. We'll pause on high school hoops. We'll be back. But we high school. They lead by 15. We'll be right back. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A pretzel bun? On the Baconator. Catherine, are you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new Pretzel Baconator. Accidents happen, but when they impact your life, you need a team that understands. Get the justice you deserve. We are real lawyers for real people just like you. Go lightly in Vanna, 222-3333. Savage and Son with the oldest active business license in the state, number 10. Savage and Son, proud to support and celebrate 134 years of business. They're one of our proud sponsors. And also The Row, three resorts, one kind of, one kind of experience. Caesars Entertainment presents The Row, located in the heart of downtown Reno. You know, we talked about both coaches, but Matt Oaks wanted me to make sure that I mentioned his assistants, Derek Nosbeck and Roman Van Allen, said, I couldn't do it without them. Novsek's been with them all 12 years. Excuse me, Novsek's been with them three years. Allen's been with them all 12 years. Yeah, and, and Roman Van Allen, who I've known since in high school, terrific point guard who played here at Reno High, and Higgins knocks down another three. Absolutely. Well, we were talking about that. He now has nine. I mean, they just cannot get it to go. No, they can't. And Smirton... You know, he's so many aspects of his game. The scoring you look at because of the average, of course, he's averaging 12 points a ball game, but he does so many other things. Let's take a better look at the Higgins three. Oh, that, that's smeared on the drive. And Warbrock with it, the feed. Coach Ball's upset with that call, and uh, it was close because I actually thought he was set. Yeah, I did too. But it's a bang bang play. I can see why Coach Ball's upset. Look at the steal by Anderson. Throw I told it you. Down. He, I told you he could run. Yeah, and he can jump too. Throw it down, young man. Throw it down. He now leads everybody with 11. Hack push. Quick himself. Warbrot. Looking for help. 
Nice step away. That is a nice step back. Big fella, what else can you do? His second basket. 18-point lead for Reno. This game has become extremely physical. Started to get with that way in the second quarter, and it's carried on. So Reno again keeping everybody fresh, bringing Edwards from the bench along with Boyd. But Matt Oaks has done a wonderful job moving guys in and out. Yes, he has. Anderson up front. They love him, as you said earlier, shooting that long ball. Smearden again, making sure they get it cleared. Steal by Basabas. Three on one. Nice. Oh, my. Nice, nice reverse layup. Ethan, are you aware that's his first basket of the game? Yes, I am aware of that. You know, but he can get it going in a hurry. Oh. Here comes the Bonnie Rand. Matt Oak thought that should have been a foul there. Yeah, there's some real contact with, with Boyd. He's still a little shaken. And look, Matt Oak is halfway on the court. And very seldom you see Matt Oak get that upset, right? Yeah. And you see here, this is what they're talking about. Boy, when Matt, Matt almost asking for the tee. I think he wants one. But Rich Martinez walking away. He said, no, I'm not going to do it. This is how old I am. I know Matt Oaks and Roman Van Allen since they were in high school. Well, I remember when he came out of Reed High School, so I'm right up there with you, although I think you might have me by a few decades. <laughs> and, you know, he was the number one guy taken when he went into the University of Nevada. Coach Johnson said, I want him first. Take another look at this underneath. Dodson will end up at the line being fouled. You know, Dan, Damani Ranch only has one made three-pointer in this game. One. And that was by Macias in the way back in the first quarter. In the first quarter. They shoot 31% on average for the game. But Reno, again, able to maintain that bulge. Timeout taken, but we'll keep it right here, but because I think Matt Oaks was thinking turnover, so that's why he took that timeout. And that was a great timeout by Matt Oaks because they were uh, uh, dead, because he picked the dribble up and, and, and the body ran to in full denial. I was listening when they did senior night, some of the, the GPAs of these students. Last year, Reno was in the top three academically. I think they're going to be there this year. Matt thinks they may be the number one team academically. So you're playing with some kids who are pretty darn smart off the court as well as on the Man, court. I'm, I'm hearing uh, Matt Welch has a 5-0. And here I am. I, the guys that were on my high school team, I was the smartest one. So what that tell you? <laughs> you must have had the 5-0. <laughs> we, all, we all thought the SAT stood for Saturday. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Our guys, we added together, we had a 5.5, but that was all five of us. So Matt Oaks has calmed down just a little bit, but he was a little bit incensed earlier, but he's calmed down, so is his team. Higgins will be the trigger man on the inbound. Nice Euro. Oh, my. Basavas. Quickly in transition. We talked about them passing the ball up the floor, but they've been dribbling it up the floor all night long. See, that's the change that of pace. That will go and a foul. That's the change of pace I was talking about earlier. He pushed hard, as you see down here, and then he pretended he was going back out the half court to set up, and he accelerated to the hoop. Nice job. Basavas, a 74% free throw shooter, will get a chance for the three point play. Well, we thought they were getting ready to get ran right out of this gym, Dan, and they've gone on a little mini run now, and they're right back in it. Could make it to a dozen here. For most teams, that doesn't seem like it's possible, but they've got it at a dozen. Well, all they want to do, if they can get this thing down to eight points at the start of the fourth quarter during this game. 
this press is starting to bother the Huskies too. For the first time tonight, huh? Boyd. Oh boy. That's a great move by Boyd. I like Boyd. I tell you what, he comes in and he's looking to score. Well, he's on the season average of eight points. Dotson tied up, stolen by half court. Three on two. And Boyd again. No, wipe it off. I like to see that because I actually thought the defender was too far underneath the basket. We may get it. We need a timeout here. If we get a timeout coming out of it, we may get a look at that replay. Okay, we're going to get a timeout, I believe. Yes, we do. We'll take it. We'll be back with more basketball in high school hoops. can be debilitating. Pain can cause problems with normal daily activities, recreational activities, and returning to work. Almost 40 years ago, my dad opened Northwest Renal Chiropractic with the goal of getting people quickly out of pain and back to normal daily activities through chiropractic care tailored to the patient's individual needs. No long treatment plans, no unnecessary visit, just getting people feeling better. For appointments, call Northwest Renal Chiropractic at 775-324-3700 or go to northwestrenalchiropractic.com. Reminder, order ahead at portasubs.com on their mobile app. Capital Glass is proud to support the Capital Glass Athletic Scholarship Grants. Capital Glass, the best in glass. Here's that replay again. And I, I've got to give them a charge. They, yeah. The officials are right on it one more time. That's a correct call. Correct call. Boyd didn't like it, but he did. He ran over the defense. Reno in that zone again, Dan. This thing gave them some problems in the first half. Basabas, I think he's going to pass the ball. Are they going to let him go to the line? I mean, he was going to pass, as you see here. So he's not even looking at the basket. No, he's not. I, oh, wow. That's a break there. That is a big break. Nothing better than getting scoring opportunities with the clock stopped. Nice. All six of his points have come here in the third quarter. You know, even though he's not having a typical game, he hasn't stopped competing on both ends of the floor. I mean, he's competing on both ends of the floor. Back to a 12-point game. Smearden. Get the ball in his hands. He's got his head on a swivel. He knows what to do with it. The first step, uh, he was going to be traveling, but they called the foul just as that, before that second step came down. Watch. And, and, and as you see, that's a correct call. The defender kind of leaned over and drew that contact. So Smith will end up at the free throw line for a pair. Not a great free throw shoot. I mentioned earlier, 59%. The first trip tonight. Well, we, we talked about Damani Renz getting this lead down to eight points at the start of the fourth. You know, but every time they go on a little mini run, it seems like Reno has yeah, an answer have. for it. They do. Big bass. Big free throw. Yeah, absolutely, but it doesn't. The Sabas, boy, almost lost that one. Dodson to Macias. Oh, that, that's an offensive foul. That's a great defense by Harvey Smearton. He just stood there and took the charge. Let's see right here on the replay. Macias kicks it out. And, so going to, and that's a correct call. You said earlier, play fast, don't rush. And that's exactly what he was doing. Yeah, and, and you really don't like to spin unless the defender gets ahead of the basketball. And for that reason right there, the defender was never ahead of the basketball. Warbrock. Anderson in traffic. Dotson. 
Vong, they're looking for Anderson. I, I will feed him more because he's engaged in his third quarter and he seemed to have found his rhythm. You don't want to let him go too long without getting touches down there. He's got 13. Spanish Springs is just handling Bishop and O tonight, Ethan. They lead in the fourth quarter by 20, 63 oh, wow. to 43. Wow. Challenge for the board, and who's going to get the ball? I mean, Anderson saying that Edwards was out of bounds. What an effort, though, by Mac and uh, Edwards here. Look at this. Oh, but he got hit. The ball ricocheted off his leg. Yeah, that should be Damani Ranch's basketball. Because it came back off and exactly. hit Edwards. Exactly. But they don't have the benefit of the replay and the great guys that we have shooting the game. Edwards could have gotten called. Big basket. You know the saying, hand down, man down. Casey with his seventh point, a big basket for him. Back to a 15-point ball. Here comes that Reno defense. Quickly up the floor, and Ford was right to pull it out, not go to the hole. Boy, it was, uh, he said some mean streams. Smearden goes inside. They mix it up. Or to Higgins, rather. No, that's Smearden. Excuse me. Another tied ball. Damani Ranch has gotten every tied ball tonight. That's either four or five when the ball's been tied up. They don't jump it anymore. Damani Ranch has gotten every one of them. Wow. Isn't it supposed to alternate? Well, it's, yeah, you alternate, but you alternate on possessions, on fouls, and so on, but you don't, they don't come consecutively. Only 54 seconds, 53-4 to be exact. Bruce Jacobson and Zach Richardson talking things over, the two officials tonight's ball game. All three guys, I mentioned Martinez earlier, they have done a wonderful job. Do you know what they're discussing? Uh, with who, who gets the ball? Uh, because Reno thought that the uh, arrow never changed and it should be their ball. And, and so Damani Ranch wants a timeout. Well, I think they're still talking about whether it's Reno or Damani Ranch's basketball. But I actually thought it was Reno high basketball because I thought Damani Ranch got the last uh, tie up. So they decided to go to Damani Ranch. Yeah. Reno applying the full court pressure just to slow the game down a little bit if they can. Vong. Luke Dotson. Nice split. He is so strong. Anderson now with 15 points to lead everybody. Uh, you know, he, he's got to get a lot of touches. Casey did a good job getting it across the line. Warbrot, dangerous pass, Boy, but a good one. I mean, this boarding kid, board kid, he can score. He's gotten 10 off the bench. It, it, it's huge. Passat is fading away. Oh, How wow. about that one off the glass? Okay, now the stars are, are, are starting to shine for DeMonte Ring. Anderson and Passat is starting to get it going. See, they Reno should have made sure they got the last shot in the game. And they That's didn't. huge. That's huge right there. Yeah, Macias. A huge basket now makes it an 11 point game where it was a 30 point, 13 point game. Well, a lot coming. I hope you don't go anywhere. Stay here for high school hoops. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I'm Jeff of the Companion Auto Group. We want to encourage our youth to seek diverse ways to secure a solid future through trades, apprenticeships, and two-year programs that teach hands-on skills for specific careers. One great thing I love about the electrical industry is that you can come in and earn as you learn. You are actually providing for your family and show that women can lead the way. Here at Company Auto Group, we're proud to support the Driving Brighter Futures campaign. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. 
Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the Savage Way, and it has been for over 130 years. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2023 Chevy Traverse 1 LS all-wheel drive, 520 per month. A 2023 Chevy Blazer 2 LT all-wheel drive, 528 per month. Or a 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 Custom Crew Cab 4x4, 52888. Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. Wendy's new breakfast, two for three dollars, Biggie Bundles are here. Your perfect duo for just three dollars for a limited time only during breakfast hours. U.S. price and participation may vary, not a valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. And Champion Chevrolet is proud to support high school hoops on Nevada Sportsnet. How about the percentages for this game? Mike Reeves giving him Ethan. The Monty Ranch, 38% to the floor, Reno 51%, but how about the three-point line? Kamani Ranch just 10%, Reno 37.5%. We start the fourth quarter, Huskies up by 11. They're really starting to extend that pressure too. Warbrock. Spacing is going to be key, and you got to be strong with the basketball, and you got to meet the pass. Casey. Yes, sir. Boy, that's a soft touch. Aiden Casey right there. Nice little floater there to put around. Didn't get sped up either. Anderson answering. I mean, he's getting it going. I mean, he has finally got it going here. I will continue to feed him the ball. Has 17 of their 38 points. Oh. Not a good pass. Warbrock will get the steal. Hard pack push underneath the Higgins. Higgins does a really good job of that old man YMCA shot fake. You know, and gets defenders off his feet. And goes up and scores it. 11 for Higgins. If you're Demonte Ranch, you can't continue to trade baskets, right? Yep. That's oh oh. Anderson's walking. I mean, moonwalking at that. Michael and Jackson would have been jealous. You know what Reno hasn't done in the second half? They haven't sent two guys at him. They've let Warbaugh go one on one with him. Turnover. <laughs> Demonte will keep it. I don't know if Reno's wearing down, but they were pressing Anderson a lot and not giving him good looks. He's getting better looks this second half. Yeah, I mean, I think they just decided to play him straight up and say, okay, look, we're not going to let anybody else get going and beat him. Dodson. Boy, Higgins again with a big-time rebound. Still only one made three for Damani Rand. Unbelievable. I, I like I like Harvey Smearden back in his ball game. Just for his leadership, right? Absolutely. And he can play at a high level too. I mean quickly. Nice pass. Look at that floater. Look oh, at wow. that floater. Float on, young man. Float on. Casey now in double numbers with eleven. Reno with four guys in double figures. Damani Ranch with only Anderson. Bong. Oh wow. Almost travel. <laughs> Dotson. Macias double clutches. I mean, I've seen so many double clutches in this basketball game. They Reno running numbers. down the floor. Higgins. That's when you spin. That's when you spin. We got Motown in the house. We got the spinners and the floaters going on. Back to 17-point lead. We will take a timeout. We'll be back with more high school hoops from Reno High School. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A pretzel bun? On the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new Pretzel Baconator. Is your house catching a cold? It could be furnace problems. Schedule a tune-up today. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air for all your home heating needs. With over 20 years of being locally owned, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your go-to for home heating because we treat our customers like family. Today's technology can make driving more pleasant and safe, but it can also be a distraction if not handled properly. Distracted driving is one of the leading causes of accidents on Nevada roadways. 
Texts, phone calls, and social media can wait. If you need to use a phone for GPS, use a dash mount and set it up in a clearly visible spot before you begin your journey. Pay attention to the road and don't let your tech distract your driving. From Dolan Auto Group, drive safe, Nevada. And we'll take a look at our smile cam, the Reno cheerleaders. Brought to you by Westside Dental Studio, located in the heart of Midtown. Now accepting new patients at their state-of-the-art dental office. Smile cam, hi ladies. We've got a game going on at Link Piazzo floor here at Reno High School. Link Piazzo, one of the great contributors and philanthropists in Northern Nevada. And proud to see this floor named in his honor. The Hall yeah. of Fame is named in his honor. He's done so many things for this when he was alive for this Northern Nevada community. Great man. Thanks, great Link. Man. From range, Cisco can't hit. Reno's done a great job controlling tempo as of late in the last couple minutes. Smearden, very good at doing that. He and Casey playing a little game of catch. I tell you, Casey's got four big points in this quarter, Dan. Boy, he sure does. Anderson out guarding him tight. He's smeared and keeps the defender away. Then, then Anderson rips it away, but that will be a tied ball or a foul. Which would it be? I think they're going to call a foul on Anderson. That'll be his third. Coach Walls doesn't like this foul. Coach Walls is saying the ball was tied up. It was over. And, and I think Coach Walls may be right on this. Over the head of that, the, 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 the offensive player of Smearton. We talked about this press arena high players have to meet the pass. They have to go to the pass. That's it. Just like Mac Edwards did. Another jump ball. Tied ball. Guess who gets possession? You should know that by now. See, the arrow favors the money ranch. <laughs> Always. It has all night long. Reno has not gotten one of those calls. It's the way the game goes. It's just it's not something against Reno or officials missing it or any of that. That's just the exchange of the arrows. I hate to see Aiden Casey go out. I like that little floater he's got. I'm a, I agree with you, but Coach Oaks, or Dr. Oaks as he's known as now, <laughs> got his doctorate in December. That's doing a, a good job moving people in and out. Is Basabas now in double numbers with 11. That's a nice little floater. Now this time Reno will get it. Reno finally gets one. Boy, and when they needed it too. Okay, you got to be strong with this basketball, okay? And, and credit to Monty Rance for really applying this pressure. They're fighting for every inch. See, he, he wants to come back right. Sometimes you just got to go left. That's a, that's really a tough call. Yeah, I actually thought Basavich took his candy there. Look, yeah, that looked clean here. It did look clean. And again, not degrading the officials at all, but it's a tough call. They don't have a use of a, a replay. That's the guy's hands you wanted in Smearden. He and Hastia. Boyd Higgins. Nice call. Look at Warbrock. A second effort into Higgins. Not only did Warlock get the offensive rebound, he made a great pass to Higgins for two points. So credit him for a rebound and an assist. Dotson in the corner. He'll be fouled by Smearton. Harvey's saying, hey, I'm just giving back what they've been giving me. We're sending a lot of great competitors tonight. And Smearton's near that top of that list, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, and, and what about two, Dan? I mean, this yep. man has competed, and and, and Bersabas and Anderson on, on that side, too, for the Monty Ranch. You can see why they're 1-2 in the north. Anderson is fouled trying to return the shot. You know, he was injured last year, didn't play a lot. He would have been all-league center last year, but 
people are getting to see how good and how versatile he is this year because luckily for him he stayed healthy yeah the young man i mean he, he works right he gets in the gym you see him all the time i mean he works on his game well you can't tire him out he, he may be breathing a little heavily right now but he's not huffing and puffing he knew he missed that one that he play. did didn't he Higgins got the rebound. He's been everywhere. Small, sm smeared him with the ball. See, Get the war brought. Husky's doing a good job knowing where each other is. Okay, See, so you can't pick that dribble up. Nice. Down the middle, Warbra. Here comes Macias. Man, bodies are going everywhere. I mean, credit Warbra. Then I mean, young man missed the layup and hustled back, didn't pat about it, getting on the floor. Well, we were looking for a timeout. We didn't get it. We'll get it to next stoppage. Nice. That's a great pull up there. Now we'll have a timeout. We'll take that. Basabas now with 13. We'll pause, come back with more. Wrap things up here on High School Hoops. Stay with us. Auto accident injuries can be debilitating. Pain can cause problems with normal daily activities, recreational activities, and returning to work. Almost 40 years ago, my dad opened Northwest Reno Chiropractic with the goal of getting people quickly out of pain and back to normal daily activities through chiropractic care tailored to a patient's individual needs. No long treatment plans, no unnecessary visit, just getting people feeling better. For appointments, call Northwest Reno Chiropractic at 775-324-3700 or go to northwestrenochiropractic.com. Child hunger is real. Many Northern Nevada children go an entire day or even a weekend with nothing to eat. With your help, we can make a difference. For just $5, you can help a hungry child eat on the weekend. Join Dollar Loan Center in News 4 at Smith's on South Meadows Parkway, February 9th, or donate to the Super Bowl of Caring at MyNews4.com. Help make a difference today. Donate to the Super Bowl of Caring. And we are back here on High School Hoops. Sponsored by Champion, presented by America First. With free online and mobile banking, America First Credit Union is always there to help you achieve your financial goals. Go to AmericaFirst.com today. And remember, Big O Tires proudly sells its own brand of innovative, newly designed tires backed by their ProTech Plus 3 warranty. Right now, save $100 instantly on in-stock sets of Big O Tires. Visit the store, get all the details. Spanish Springs just clobbered Bishop Minogue tonight, 67 to 44. I mean, and, and, and you talking about Bishop Minogue coming off being uh, Northern uh, Nevada champs last year. Exactly. Higgins in the paint. That's a smart decision by Smeared in there not to take that shot. Reno's going to think want to end up at the free throw line. Well, they called the timeout, but I think they're going to try to take as much time as they can. We'll keep it right here. So what does Reno need to do to preserve the win, and what does Damani need to do to come back and well, stay undefeated in the league? If you're Reno, just take care of the ball. Don't turn it over, right, uh, uh, Dan? And then uh, and go to the free throw line and make free throws when they foul you. But you definitely don't want to turn it over and allow Damani Ranch to get easy layup. If you're Damani Ranch, you definitely got to trap the ball and just get out and take gambles and try to get uh, uh, steals to really play the passing lane. Okay, here's what the tournament would look like if today we were playing it. You'd see this. Carson and Galena are the play-in. Damani Ranch also with a bye there the first round. And then you see Reed would host Bishop Minogue. Reno would host McQueen. That's if it was played today. But we've still got another week and a half of basketball. And this one, not going to change everything right away, but it gets Reno a heck of a lot closer yes. to being that number one seed. Pack push. You want to keep the ball moving because Damani will double team you everywhere. 
and Gasama's trying to get the foul, and he does. No, he protests a little bit, but he was trying to foul to stop the clock. He's he saying that should have been a travel on, on Smyrna. So it's just the 14 foul, so Reno will inbound, though, not go to the line. Hackbush, double team. Boy, this, this game is really physical. Well, they're going to make the referee blow the whistle. You Damani Ranch, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. So Hackbush will go to the line for the first time tonight. He's a 67% shooter. Has not been there very often. All year long, Ethan, he's only had 15 free throw attempts. Well, I said you got to take care of the basketball and you got to make your free throws. He shoots 67%, so he's made 10 of 15 prior to that one. He has a, just four points. Reno in that zone again. Dotson. Oh, Dotson. He goes bombing, and right away, Damani wants to slow things down. They're down by a dozen. They needed that, Drew Dotson there. They needed that three. Only their second made three-pointer. They're going to need, like, four more of those. He made one, and the other one with Macias way back, like you say, in the first quarter. Second and third quarter, they didn't put in the three. So they're going to try to use, as you see, 156 on the clock. Reno's got to be smart, go to the free throw line, make free throws. Yeah, so if you're Reno, you know, making one out of two is not going to be good enough. You're going to have to make the most of your free throw shooting opportunity. So Reno wants to, again, the things that are on the line. Reno wants to stay undefeated at home this year. No other Reno team has done that on Luke Piazza floor. On the other side of it, Damani wants to keep their record unblemished. They're 12-0 in the league. That's where they would like to stay. They're 20-2 and on the season. Reno, overall coming into this one, is 17-5, and 11-2 in the league. So a lot of pride on both teams. I think these two probably will end up playing one another for the regional championship but the pride of being number one versus number two is still at stake and it'll be on a neutral court so that'll be very interesting it sure will full pressure reno's got to get it up quickly they do to hackbush Basin is going to be crucial. See how they're all clumped up? Exactly right. I was just thinking the same thing as you, just as you said, it's spacing. Smearden looking for help. There's Higgins. Warbra. See, someone should always flash middle when the team is pressing like that. That middle is always going to be open. But look, every all five players are on the same side of the court right now. Pack push has it knocked out of his hands out of bounds, and they say he's the last to touch it. All five players from Reno are on the same side can't, of the floor. Can't do that. That's what you're saying of people at home. You know, spacing. You've got to spread people out. So both teams pretty much got the same amount of... Uh, we're going to get a legal screen on that. Both Look at Smirton. How smart is that young man? Macias, you know, the call could be somewhat questionable. You decide what you think. But Smirton... Getting his body over. Yeah, you see how he leaned into that screen. Maybe a little acting going on, but he got the call. Oh, wow. Anderson with a steal. Basabas gets behind the line. But Reno again playing that three-point line. Cisco. Hack push. Hackbush up the left side. Down low to Higgins. And he's fouled. Basabas made that. No harm, no foul, but wanted to make sure that Higgins didn't get a good shot off. That's why he fouled him. Nice play there. Higgins loves that pump fake. Goes up really strong. You know, both teams are around the same as far as field goal attempts. DeMarty Ranch 41, actually 42 now. Reno 43, but Reno 24 for 43. So Basavis is fouled out of the game. 
I was not aware of that. I didn't have him for five. So he's out. That's a big weapon gone. Higgins looking for point number 16. And he got. He had six of his 16 in the first half. I mean, he's just been consistently good, you know, all game long, right? When they needed a basket, he was there to give it to him. Messias hurrying. Anderson keeping it alive momentarily. What, what's great about Reno's defense is almost every Damani Ranch player has to change the angle of his shots when he gets in the air. They're not getting that many wide open good looks. Hackbush has gone out. Warbra has gone out. See, Dodson gets some good looks. Yeah. And, and, and we're talking about this young man being offensive minded. They just needed that a lot earlier. He now has 11. A 10 point ball game. That's as close as it's been since the first quarter. 35 seconds left. It isn't over. How many of you have been in when it's been 10 points near the end and it doesn't work the way you want? Unfortunately, I tried to forget about those. But. I remember when Sonny Allen, Billy Allen, and the Nevada Wolfpack were playing Idaho. They had 13 seconds left in the game. Idaho was leading by seven and Nevada won it. Wow. Those are the ones you, you never really get over. No. No, you don't. Reno, so much to play for tonight getting within one game, and again, that perfect record at home. I've mentioned it many times. I hope you're not getting tired of hearing it, but that's what really has been the main motivator for them tonight. Of course they want to win. There's no doubt. But to have the reputation of saying we were never defeated at home during the regular season, nobody else can say that. Yeah, and, and Coach Oates, you know, got Higgins and Hagbush out of the game. So if you're Reno High, you really just want to take care of the ball Quick foul. Casey, who shoots 78% and has not been to the free throw line so far this evening. Casey, six foot three senior guard. That's his season average, 12. They better locate Dodson because he's been the one shooting the threes pretty good. Macias. And it's just been one of those nights for him. Boy, Welch came up with that nice one-handed grab rebound. You know, credit Matt Welch right there for holding on to that ball, not giving it. You see on the rebound, young man goes up, gets it, secures it with both hands, and he's strong with it. See that, Dan? Yeah, and his thin frame, you wouldn't think he'd be that muscular, but he did not let him wrestle it away. 6'5", 165 pounds. He's still got a 5-0. He's yet to make a free throw this year, unfortunately, but he's 0 for 2 on the season. You go, uh, but if you got a 5.0 GPA, I yeah, think that. exactly. <laughs> we talked about that before. Oh, my. Reno will get it back on that midcourt turnover. Quick foul. Huskies go back to the free throw line. Caleb Oster played momentarily in the first half. He's in here in the mop-up role. Let's see what he has done. He's one for five this year. Here's a fun fact. Caleb and Noah Hagbush are first head. Thank you. I did not know that. They're bombs or sisters. <laughs> Zach Stanko, I mentioned the young man, number 33, has just come in the game. and He gets the ball. You follow him at the free throw line. He's deadly there. Uh, yeah, I saw Stanko in the Galena game, and I tell you what, he came in and contributed. Anderson, Stanko runs it down. 
Anderson again. And that's over. Reno has stayed undefeated at home. They have beaten the previously unbeaten Devonnie Ranch Mustangs in lead play 61 to 49. We'll take a timeout. There's a lot of celebrating going on here. Thanks for joining us for Hoop Town, Hometown Hoops. Stick around. Our postgame show is coming up. We'll tell you who our champion of the game is when we come back. We'll have more here on Hometown Hoops. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, and that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the savage way. And it has been for over 130 years. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax Active Front Wheel Drive, 331 per month. A 2024 Chevy Equinox LS All Wheel Drive, 429 per month. Or a 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, just 42888. Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. NSN Tonight is your one-stop shop for local sports news, notes, and highlights. For exclusive interviews, features, and analysis from your most plugged-in reporters in Northern Nevada, watch NSN Tonight. Weeknights at 10.35 p.m. following the Fox 11 News at 10. And on Nevada Sportsnet at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Well, as I said, our game brought to you by, uh, sponsored by Champion Chevrolet and presented by America First. We're in our post-game show, and that is brought to you by Savage and Son, celebrating 134 years in business. Savage and Son, get plumbing done right the first time. Call Savage and Son. Well, Ethan, a lot of people at Reno High School pretty happy with this one came out. I didn't know. I thought it would be a tight game. It was never really a tight game. It was an exciting game. But it never was as tight. I thought it would go back and forth, exchange lead. Reno led from start to finish. Well, they set the tone early, right? I mean, they came out and they said, you know what? We're not going to get pushed around or out hustled in our own gym. And they set the tone early on. I mean, and everyone Matt Oates put in this basketball game contributed right away. So you knew it was going to take a, a, a Herculean effort from Damani Ranch to beat Reno tonight in this gym. And they had to make some threes. As uh, Mike Reeves, our statistician, pointed out, they made two threes in the ball game. They made one, maybe now they made three, but they had one free, one three-pointer until the fourth quarter when they made their second one. They just were not shooting the ball well. No, didn't shoot it well all night from the perimeter. And as they like to say, and we've said it repeatedly, they want to play fast. Tonight they played fast, but they played haphazard also. Yeah, I, I thought they got a little... Uh, erratic with the basketball a lot yep. of times then you know you know you can play fast but they were trying to force the issue and they just wouldn't let things develop in time see sometimes you can just go way too fast and so i actually think they just got out and uh, never could gain the rhythm uh they were pressing way too much they try to match them bucket for bucket and that's not how you win on the road no it's not so now they have their first loss in conference play we'll see what that does to them but congratulations to reno they came after it, and they got it tonight, won by big numbers. So we're in the postgame show. Stick around. We'll come back and tell you who our champion of tonight's game is when we return to Reno High School here on High School Hoops. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting it bun? on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. 
check out Sierra Classics and Imports for your vintage car needs. Whatever you want, if we don't have it, we'll find it for you. We buy, sell, and trade. Sierra Classics and Imports. My son told me he wanted to hurt himself. I was so scared. I was feeling hopeless. It was all too much. And when I tried to talk to him, he screamed at me. I was sick and tired of people telling me what to do. We needed help. I needed help. I called the mobile crisis response team and they met with us that day. I talked to them about how I was feeling and it really helped. Sometimes understanding what children are experiencing can be difficult. The Nevada Children's Mobile Crisis Response Team provides mental health intervention and support. Learn more at no